a lot of men have always said that women are drawn to bad boys and even women also have confirmed that they love bad boys okay they love a guy who's a little nasty a little bad here and there and not necessarily a criminal or a rapist or a narcissistic person now listen as a good boy that you are there are a few things you can do to make you become a bad boy especially in the other room because you see women the bad boy that they want is a bad boy who can handle their everything and every need and let me tell you a few things that these bad boys do that you know remain stuck in the girl's head and makes her crave for them more that's why when you come with all of your good boy vibe these girls don't really want you because you don't leave any long lasting impact in them so hey guys, my name is IJ. This is Real Talk with IJ. You already know how we do it here. So guys, stay tuned because you know this weekend is going to be the bomb. Okay. So today we are talking about four things bad boys do that drives women crazy. And you can learn from it. Trust me, as a good boy, you can learn from it. And when it comes to sexual pleasure, when you want to, you know, make your woman know that you are the bad boy. No matter who you are, even if you are a pastor, it's your wife. You are free to be naughty and nasty. It is your wife. So it doesn't matter who you are. Being a bad boy in bed for your woman is something that you shouldn't joke with. No matter how religious you are, I don't care, but like it's your thing. You should enjoy it to the fullest. Now, one thing bad boys do that you good boys don't do is use your voice. I don't see how men are quick to say, oh, it's a woman that should mourn and let out sounds when you know the, you're doing the needful. Come on learn how to use your voice learn how to talk learn how to speak learn how to mourn learn how to let learn how to you know let out a few sounds here and there women enjoy it and even though she forgets the the action that you're doing she will always remember the sound of your voice in her ears she will always remember the the the, the morning you left you let out when you guys were doing the needful so learn how to use your voice a lot of bad boys use their voice in the bedroom they learn how to talk dirty they learn how to speak to you they learn how to you know let out those sounds that will make you like run really wild now you guys might not know this but women really love when their man you know lets them know that they are enjoying what they are doing don't just stay there as a terminator doing <laughs> Like, brother, what is that? Okay? So learn how to speak dirty. Learn how to talk dirty. Learn how to mourn. Let her know you are enjoying what you are doing. That is one bad boy vibe a lot of you are missing out on. Yes, you don't have to be a man and just go bing, 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 bing. Uh-uh. No. There's nothing sexy about that. Okay? So in as much as we are mourning, we want you to do the same. We want you to speak to us. We want, to we want you to tell us, give it to me, baby. I'm going to do this to you. What do you want me to do? Now, I have a complete video on how to talk dirty. I will put the link at the end of the video. So make sure you go click it and check it out. Okay? Learn how to use your voice. And you definitely need to watch that video. It will help you a lot if you're someone who is new to dirty talking and you don't really know how to use your voice. Watch that video. It's going to be at the end of this video. Second way bad boys take charge and steal all your girlfriends away from you is because they know how to be dominant. Yes, bad boys know how to take charge in the other room. They know how to handle your women. Now, a lot of you guys who are claiming good guys, you just want your woman to take charge. You want your woman to tell you, wait, let me move my leg this way. No, no, baby, hold my legs. Baby, hold my hands. Touch my boobs. Like, are you serious? You allow a woman to control you in a space where you should be the alpha guys you need to learn okay i keep saying it doesn't matter how religious you are your woman is your woman you should know how to handle and spank her dirty when it's time to do you know what i'm talking about so you need to learn how to take charge take charge in the, in the bedroom tell her come here tell her do this use your hands now don't be too harsh except you guys really love it kinky some of us love it kinky so except you guys love it kinky and a little bit painful some women you know they, they love that so you need to understand your woman but definitely take charge if you need to hold her, her hands hold her hands if you need to pin her backwards pin her backwards if you need to grab the ass or grab the boobs do it if you need to spank you need to definitely do it if you need to use some toys if you need to choke you need to know how to take charge in the other room now if you don't if you're not used to this you need to start small and see how your woman enjoys it okay like when it comes to spanking and choking you need to start small and for choking i would say you need to be very careful and maybe you need to have a safe word so that your woman knows when you are going to you know when it's getting too tight and all of that but definitely you need to know how to take charge so if you need to try a position try it don't tell her oh, baby i want to adjust you this way is that okay is it paining you should i stop like come on except you're doing it in the dirtiest way okay but like if it's like you're taking permission or asking for permission before you can change your style or do a particular thing or try something new then you are not an alpha at that moment so women love boys who take charge in the other room that's the dirty thing they do that makes them a bad boy so when you leave 
okay when you are not in the picture when you are not around even when you guys have broken up they think of those moments how you used to grab her how how you used to grab her hair hold her hands you know pin her down change position lift her move her swing her she thinks of all of those moments even when she's like her, at her place of work and she just gets this this shiver okay and she doesn't even need she doesn't even need to watch porn to get turned on all she has to do is think about those happy moments with you and you will just keep blowing her mind so good boys pay attention and stop being shy in the bedroom another thing bad boys do that you good boys needs to learn is stop doing the same thing over and over again bad boys are unpredictable they are unpredictable they are not afraid to take risks yes especially nasty and naughty risks they are not afraid to spank your butt in public and you know like kind of like they're stealing it okay they're not afraid to like grab your butt i mean in the elevator or, or somewhere without even minding that someone is looking at you but just like in the craziest and sweetest way okay so you need to be unpredictable you don't have to be this person that your woman will say mm, leave him please he's not going to want to do it like no don't be that person that your woman will just know he's only going to do missionary oh please even if i kiss him in the shower he could never have sex with me in the shower oh please leave him even if we lodge in a hotel he can never try anything in the pool like don't be that kind of man that your woman just knows that you cannot take risks you can't do anything fun. You can never try car sex. You can never try having sex in the car lot. You can never try having sex in the beach. You can never try having sex in the pool. You can never try anything. You just want to be on the bed. Every time it's come to the bed. Every time come to the bed, it's on the bed. It's the same style. You're not even trying to change positions. Nothing. It's just one place. Like, guys, come on. Really? And then you wonder why these small boys are taking your wives away from you. It's because they are crazy. It's because they are doing something different. So, I mean, I'm not saying that you, you, you have to do the most craziest thing, but try not to be predictable, okay? When your woman thinks that it's going to happen in the kitchen, do it in the shower. When she thinks it's going to happen in the shower, do it in the car. When she thinks it's going to happen in the car, book a hotel and take her there and wipe the hell out of her. Like, brothers, do I have to get any more crazier for you guys to understand what I mean? So, try not to be predictable. Bad boys are unpredictable. Bad boys take risks. And that's why a lot of girls are drawn to them because of all those crazy adventure that they get with a bad boy. You need to learn it. Last but not the least, which is kind of like the most important, bad boys knows how to give their partner amazing orgasm. Like, I don't even know how to stress on this one, but they know what to do. They know the right places to touch. They know the right things to do. Now, like I always say, orgasm or sex is not all about just going in and out, in and out. You need to know all of the sweet, erogenous spots that women love. You need to know how to handle her cleats. You need to know how to hit on the G-spot. You need to know all of the best things to do to put a woman in the best, exciting ending. Women want to have that. So if you're a good boy and you just think, oh, I just have to please myself. It's not my fault now. She doesn't want to come. Will I force her? Should I stay here for one hour? Like, do you want me to sleep inside here? That's what a lot of you guys will say. But the thing is, for women, you just need to understand the right thing to do. And even in two minutes, you can give your woman that immense pleasure, mind-blowing pleasure. You can even make her squirt in two minutes. And I have a video on how you can make a woman squirt. Go check it out. I'm also going to put it at the end of this video. Go watch it. You will know how to blow your woman's mind by doing your woman's mind by doing the smallest things. And these are the knowledge that these bad boys have that a lot of you don't have. I, you, you, you want to be a good man. You can be a good man. You can be a good man. You can be a gentleman. You can take care of a woman in public. But when you're inside the house, she needs to know she has a bad boy. So that woman, the people outside are seeing him like one innocent soul that doesn't talk. In your mind, you're like, well, you don't know this guy. Like, you don't know this guy. That's what your woman needs to be saying to people. Like, leave him. You don't know this guy. Just forget about it. You don't know why I'm with this guy. Forget about it. You understand? So learn how to be that bad boy. And trust me, even some women will stay even if you don't have money. Just because you know how to handle them and be that bad boy that they always crave for. So that's the end of the video for today. I hope you found it really educative as well as entertaining. You know how we do it here. Make sure you like my video. Make sure you share it to as many people as possible. And don't forget to drop your comments. It helps me engage with you guys. And also my Instagram DM is always open in case you have a special message or a special request. I'm always, you know, on Instagram to respond to you and make sure you follow my instagram page because we are very low on followers and we need to grow that page as well so until next time make sure you check out all the videos so keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.